Hi guys, this is Easy as One Two Three. Today we're going to talk about neuroblastoma. So neuroblastoma, what is it? Neuroblastoma is a malignant tumor, and it affects children, usually under the age of four, <clears throat> are affected by this tumor. So as you can see, this is a very dangerous tumor, and it and it starts early. Uh, what else is important about this tumor is that this tumor uh, goes along the sympathetic chain so it can arise anywhere from cervical to sacral region but this tumor usually arises from intra-abdominal region <clears throat> what else is more important is that it arises from the adrenal medulla and it, you guys probably do remember that the adrenal medulla is derived from the from the yep you guys already know neural crest cells right so this neuroblastoma is an adrenal medulla tumor it's malignant tumor malignant I'll say it again it's very important uh, studies show it is the fourth most common cancer that kills children under the age of five next what I want to talk about is that here in this picture you can see the uh, <clears throat> Uh, neuroblastoma and you can see it's pushing against the liver so it's, it's making the liver deviate towards the left side uh, in your books you might read that it crosses the midline so what does that mean okay so let's look at a CT scan the vertebra let's this is a deep this demarcating and making the abdomen into half right so right here we'll take the vertebra and we'll divide the abdomen into half as you can see that this tumor is breaching the half line so it's going on the other side so since it's coming to the liver side that means it's a tumor of the left side so it's breaching the midline so it's crossing the midline whereas Wilms tumor Wilms tumor never ever crosses the midline histologically you'll find homeride rosettes homeride rosettes are these in a way it's like a circle and between the circle is pink material another picture is you have circles and between the circle the pink material this pink material is neurofibrils okay so the pale material is neurofibrils and the humor uh, homerite rosettes are circle grouping of dark tumor cells um, these are also found in neuroblastoma except for neuroblastoma and medulloblastoma and retinoblastoma there are two important tumor markers that you must know one is NMYC, remember N as in neuroblastoma, and bombicin. Bombicin is also positive in uh, gastrin, gastri some gastric cancers and small cell carcinoma of uh, lung actually. So these are two tumor markers that are positive in uh, neuroblastoma. Also, sorry about that. Also, you look at two things in your urine. You look at HVA, homovalinic acid, and you look at VMA, vinyl mandelic acid. So why is this important? Because the breakdown of dopamine gives you HVA, and the breakdown of non-epinephrine gives you VMA. How I remember this is that um, in the HVA, just add an M in the middle, and you'll have the vinyl mandelic acid. What's interesting or differentiate neuroblastoma from, from uh, pheochromocytoma is that the VMA is increased in uh, pheochromocytoma too, but if you can remember, pheochromocytoma is 90% uh, benign, but this is a malignant. So these cells are not well differentiated. They're de-differentiated cells. So there is an enzymatic problem in converting dopamine to non-epinephrine. That's why sometimes you might get a patient with high VMA or HVA, but a lot of times the HVA in this patient, neuroblastoma patient, is more than the VMA. And that's what that's the reason a lot of these kids don't present with hypertension. But in pheochromosomocytoma, usually the, the presenting complaint is extreme hypertension because there's a lot of non-epinephrine being made, and that's why the VMA is really high too. And that's basically it. All you need to know about neuroblastoma.